This is a review for Loud Lab 3, a loudness control solution. Basically, it's an audio editor. And this is the welcome screen. You have a button to go to the documentation to visit its website or its Facebook page or its forum or another one of their programs. You can untick to show it startup or continue. Let's just hit continue a minute. You can then do new from media, open project, new project, or time, real time metering suite. Let's do new from media. Once you select the location and the file you want to open up, you'll then get this asking you to give the project a name. Let's just hit untitled and continue. It will then have a load in progress bar. Then it loads. Now it's loaded, this is the interface. You have the waveform here like you'd expect from other audio editors. Up here you have export audio where you can select their their own 64-bit resampler or the built-in max core audio resampler then you can select resampling rate of CD quality or DVD and Blu-ray quality or some others as well actual quality you can select normal or mastering diver you can select TPDF or a few others. You then can select your bit rate, such as 16 bit, 24 bit, 32 bit. And if it's mono, you can tick the mono box. You can then also even edit your metadata from here. This allows you to put in title, artist, album, genre, track, year, and comments. It would be nice if you could put a cover or poster image in from here as well. Import audio is spelt wrong there. Export audio is spelt wrong there. Then you can go here to Audio File Inspector. This never seems to come up with any, anything for me at all here for some reason. Then you have your minus and plus to zoom out, zoom in, and you can zoom back out again. Then here you have View. Here you can select Half Size, Actual Size, the Waveform, or double the size of the waveform. Let's put it back to actual size. And here you can show hide the toolbox at the bottom. Let's open that back up. Next you have editor view and here you can select waveform view and use the amplitude view here or not. Let's just untick it for now and go back to waveform. Then here we have project settings. Here you select your input device, such as your built-in microphone if you're on a laptop, or your Blue Snowball microphone if you have, like, in this case I'm using the Blue Snowball USB microphone. If you're using a different USB microphone or you're using one with a 3.5mm uh, audio jack, then you select it from here. And you select what audio sampling rate it uses, and if it's got two channels, stereo, if it's mono. Then you can select your output device here for playback, how much CPU usage you want to let it use, and the buffer size, and a few other settings here. Plus you can get to Apple's audio MIDI setup from, by clicking this, which is basically just your sound preferences that's built into Mac. Let's close. Here we have edit, so you've got waveform, or amplitude, which is basically, which is basically what we saw up here. You have this here which is your slider to adjust the size of the waveform. Grid, you can show millisecond samples or BPMs. You can select a size here. It shows the stop, start and stop point, you know, length here. You have your whole full time here. 
here you can select progress status and loop play pause stop from here here you have your standard select tool or you can change it to a move and resize selection tool or a select all tool and you can select sample grid or zero crossing you also then have here your pencil tool or your trim to selection tool here you have navigation tool zoom to selection export markers and a fade editor which comes up here now down in the toolbox you have quite a lot of options such as a, a limiter which you can easily put on or off and then dial in the maximize and seal in here let's just turn it back off you have your master out here you have dynamics various settings here quite a lot to go through but there are things like your threshold and ratios you can adjust here and then you can go to filter designer now this is basically your equalizer and you can dial in the different frequencies like you could say okay on the 200 hertz i want to have a q of say two and i want to raise it by five four or five decibels and you can see it's taken effect there you can also select the type such as a high pass low pass filter high shelf low shelf or bell you can save and load presets for the equalizer here as well then under master you have loudness here you can adjust some settings such as momentary loudness short-term loudness then you can dial in the threshold the ratio the gain plot loudness here input is black red is output and it will show up here you can also save presets for this as well master bus loudness and lra here mode select your mode there meter scale here and adjust stuff here including play pause reset now let's for a minute just go here and hide the toolbox to give us a bit more room now let's look at it from the top from the top you have loud lab 3 here you just get to your about box and you have file you can create a new project or open a project from here you can save or save as you can open the real-time metering suite which is here and as you can see there it is you can select your input device select it here and as you can see as I am speaking into the blue snowball USB microphone you can monitor it here there you go you can see exactly what is going on here with the momentary and short-term peaks here and then the true peak right about here and it will show you the very maximum here as well you can also dial in your sample rate there and just mode and meter scale here as well let's just close that for now you can also go and do a new audio file inspector which you'd have to open a file for that import and export your audio from here preview the audio file new audio recording so if i click here it brings up a record dialog box which you can monitor if you have headphones in press record select your input here and project properties which i've shown you already view is pretty standard cut type of stuff here you get to the settings here which you can find in other places anyway and zoom in zoom out file inspector and some of the other stuff is listed here including loop and on the offline toolbox this is basically uh pretty much just another way of saying effects i don't know why they call it the offline toolbox but you have your denoiser here which is good because a lot of programs audio editors that you do pay for don't have a built-in denoiser such such as twisted wave twisted wave audio editor on mac does not have denoising built in even though you can use audio units if I click here, you can see, and click bypass, you can capture a noise print as well. And you can select the render quality and apply to all or just a selection. And you can also manually put in a threshold and reduction here.
then you have an LP EQ. You have a normal EQ, which is what I basically showed you down in the toolbox. And you have a de-esser. A de-esser is when you say words such as S's, which has lots of S's in it, and it can sound very hissy. It's to get rid of a bit of that drastic hiss to your words. So you can dial it in here. There is no presets for it, though. Then you have your compressor expander and noise gate. You can also add a soft knee to it as well and dial in the ratio. There are no presets here either. You have a pitch shift to adjust, to adjust pitch. And you have a loudness and peak control here as well. Then you have support, which is simply to get to their forum and help files. View is your standard everyday view menu, like in all other programs. Then help seems to be completely empty. You can select an area here like in any other program and you can move it here like this you can select all If I select an area here, I can do trim to selection, and it is trimmed to selection. So even though they seem to brag us up as being mostly to do with loudness and adjusting loudness, making things quieter, louder, that sort of thing, it is a very full-featured audio editor in its own right. So I do recommend you go and check out a trial and see what you think for yourself please like and share this video and subscribe it only takes a few seconds and help me out a lot thanks